a video on Schwable Marathon Plus but this time with a tube and also with let the air out with uh, a thinner tire I had a few people uh, say uh, on Facebook actually when some of the cycle forums people say oh they're really hard to fit and I've done a video on them before where I've fitted them tubeless and I've pointed them to that video and people have said well yeah but that, that's easy because it's not got a tube and because it's a bigger tyre so I thought well okay we'll uh, we'll do one with uh, a tube then so I'm just taking the old one off now this is a, a marathon plus as well and this one is it's probably about three years old and it's done about probably about 8,000 miles it's just getting thin on the tread effectively as you can see the tread is virtually uh, gone and I don't like to get them get too low because if they get too low then uh, they punch up easier because although you've got a uh, a section across here which is five millimeters of neoprene you have to be careful of not letting the rubber go too low because then you've only got the, the neoprene whereas with with a tread like with the new tread you've got another two mil maybe three mil uh, to protect you so they're not loads of money to buy so it's best to change them really so okay so the old one's gone so we're starting from scratch now we'll put the valve in wherever it went there it is so we'll do like we normally do when we're going to fit the tire so you'll partially partially inflate the tire sorry the tube What's that? Like so. Now, obviously, what you're aiming to do, if you see on the um, edge here on the rim, you see there's a, a what they call a bed, and the idea is that this this part here, the inner part, which is, this has a wire rim around it on the inside this part here is wire so you're not going to get any stretch in that or very little stretch anyway uh, and what it needs to do is it needs to 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 sit in this hollow now this this is the same for any tire particularly motorcycle tires because you'll find that trying to fit those because the carcasses are much much stronger and harder uh, obviously you use bigger levers but it's just it's it's much more effort to do so you need to get that the the other side of the tire in the bed I'll explain to you as, as we go along but that's what you need to do but first of all we need to get one side on and we need to get the rotation right so we need to find the rotation which is there you can see the rotation is going that way so that's the way forwards the cog is on the right hand side isn't it as you sit on it that's it so that goes in there and that's going to go forward like that so we just put that side of the tire on which as you can see is easy now as I say it's a few years since I put these on so I can't remember how difficult they were I haven't warmed the tire up or anything like that uh, I've literally done exactly the same with both so the wheel has been in the same place as the tire and when I say that I mean if you are really struggling to fit tires then it's best to put a tire in the Sun so that it gets more supple and expands slightly and the rim in a cool place ideally a fridge or a freezer but you know you're not going to have a fridge or a freezer big enough to take a 28 inch wheel so we just make sure that's seating around there reasonably okay because you don't want it you don't want it pinching and this is normally the harder bit so we'll go back here and I'll do as I always do 
you start the, the area furthest away from the valve and the idea of that is you can you can get the carcass inside the rim and then when you get to the end to put your last bit of tire on it can you can push the tube up to get the rim to, sorry it's, it's actually quite difficult to do this when you're talking believe it or not but you can push the I was supposed to make this look easy you, you can push the rim sorry you can push the inner tube up to allow you access to the rim without pinching the tube so let's get this on here I can feel this wanting to come out the other side problem I've got if I look as if I'm not actually trying very hard it's because it keeps coming off this side and I can feel it with my fingers coming off that side so I'm gonna to have to do it this way to hold both sides in once it gets into a certain way it will be fine it will stay in on its own so if you can see what I'm doing I'm just bringing the rim around there okay so that's that's the point now where it's it's staying in on its own so we need to push the tube up as we bring this round push the tube up and up so that we know we're not trapping it between the tire bed and the rim push that up like that so we're slowly getting closer now to the valve he says Right, so this is where you have to be A, careful of the tube, and B, you need to make sure that this is in at the bottom. So push it down and down and down. Let's come off that side, isn't it, now? Again, we push in, in and down, and that should allow us a bit more room up here to get these up. Now we're nearly there. This down, this down, this down. Now don't worry too much about the tube at the moment. What we don't want to do is we don't want to pinch the tube. So now we can push this up. So you're pushing the tube away from here. Now when you put your, put your levers in, don't just push, push your levers up like that. You can feel the tube there. Push it up and you can feel it as it goes up. It just reaches the end of the, of, of the rim, just the side of the rim. So it's going up like that and you can feel it. Just go over it like that. So as you do, go like that and just push them in and the tube will still be at the top. So you go like that, you can feel it just go over, and you can bring it over once. You should be able to get that over with your fingers. So our tube's still up, so our tube's up here. Again, you go in and you just feel the rim like that, and you just come up and go over like that. Again, you just go like that. Now you don't have to be so careful of the tube here, but still, still just take it easy, up like that. Should be able to get it off by over my hand and then pull that down. So that's the tire on. So, what we're going to do is we just put some air in that, and what we do is we'll pump it up to around about 30 40 psi. or 60, 70 psi. But I meant I meant 40. Just let it settle a second. Then let the air out again. So 
So let all the air out. Obviously, if you're doing this with a pump, uh, the best way to do it is to just undo the the valve, or you know, push the uh, top down. Depending on whether you've got shrouder or pressed the valves, just to release some air. So there's virtually no air in it now. We're going to start at the valve, just so that you've got an area that you know where it is, and we're just going to push and look. So if you can see, just push and look, and go round, push and look, push and look, and just make sure that the tube isn't trapped anywhere around there. Which it isn't. It's worth doing this because if you have trapped the tube, it will inflate and it will probably last you 10 miles, 100 miles, 20 miles, 200 miles or whatever, but it will go eventually. So we're back to the tube, where the tube is now. No. <laughs> We've sunk our tube, have we? Come on, back out. That's it. All right, so we did that side. We do this side now, and we just do exactly the same. Go along. I seem like I'm rushing. I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible, but show you it all. And it seems better to me to narrate them at the time than afterwards, most of the time. Uh, simply because you the stuff that's in your head comes straight out rather than trying to remember it afterwards So we're doing all the way around nearly back to the valve and we've got no I've got the no so the tube's not pinched anywhere there So we pull him out there And if you're using uh, Pressure or shoulder the the principles are exactly the same so we just push against the tire there to stop our valve going in and pump it up to operating pressure, which on this is about 60 psi. I'll do it at 70. And there we are. Just a bit of spittle over the top, make sure our valve's not leaking, which it isn't. Put the cap on. Like that. And there you go. Make sure it's evenly distributed all the way around, which it is. Same here. Which it is. Now with, with these Marathon Plus tyres, all the, all the Marathon tyres, the difference between a Marathon and Marathon Plus, if nobody knows, the Marathon Plus has a 5mm um, neoprene bed here, and the Marathon has a 3mm. So one's Green Guard, which is the 3mm, which is the Marathon, and the other one's the Marathon Plus, which is the Blue Guard, which is the 5mm, which is what this is. So hence the Marathon Plus. So this is a 32 tyre, which is an inch, inch and a quarter, uh, sorry, inch and a, yeah, inch and a quarter. 1.25 inches um, so that's about it I think uh, any questions or whatever give us a shout oh yeah what I was going to say is the, the the bed here sometimes on some of the bigger tires it depends on the rim and the tire combination but some of the bigger tires you'll get you'll get a low spot where where the, where, it, where the 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 bed of the tire hasn't quite come fully out on the rim and if you do get that, it can be a right pain in the backside. But if you do get that, let the air out again, push it back, and put some kind of, in an ideal world, a tyre lubricant. But no, n none of us have got that at home. So a little bit of washing up liquid uh, with some with some water solution. Just put it in the corner and just turn the wheel round, and it will just run round the wheel. Do it both sides, and then pump it up. And you'll find that it, it should should pop it out and seal it in the in the right place, and then you should get an even distribution. If you can't get it completely out, it's not the end of the world. All it means is you'll get a slight kink on the tire, not the wheel, obviously, just the tire. Uh, but it's best to try and get them on there as good as you can. Right. Well, I hope I've covered everything, and I hope it's uh, I've helped somebody. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.